they see you on the field, but what is that that one thing that people don't know about you that you would like? You scared of scared of spiders? You eat cookies I mean, and milk? Oh. <laughs> I mean, people think it's weird that I eat Oreos and cheese. Like, I'm scared of spiders. Wait a like, minute, wait a minute. We're going to slow down on Oreos and cheese. Explain <laughs> Oreos and cheese for us. How, how, how does this how, how does work? Really, my grandma put me on that. Like, I used to make, she used to make sandwiches, and I used to just smush the Oreos in the sandwich. And then, like, it tastes, it, like, tastes sweet to me. So, like, I just do it sometimes, and then sometimes I get a piece of cheese and put it on the, on the cookie. It's both dairy. Nah, like. nah, you got to give us this recipe. <laughs> so, so you get the Oreo, right? You, you get got the a Oreo. napkin. You got some cheese. What type of cheese are we talking about? Some regular cheese, like and the. Then, and then you yeah, take the Oreo. Cheese, you melt it, but nah, you it. rip it. You rip the cheese and put it on the Oreo, and you eat it. And and people in your home are okay with that. Nah, they be like, I'm nasty. <laughs> but my little brother, my baby brother, he probably will do it because he wears stuff too. But they be like, I'm nasty, but I don't care. Like, I'm eating it, so it don't really matter. And this is still something you do today? Yeah, I'll eat it if I want a snack or something. If we got some in the cabinet, I'll go get some. Yeah. Who's your favorite Who's your favorite rapper? Who, who you listening to right now on your phone? Who you got in your headset? Raw Wave. Every day, I'm listening to that boy. Day and night. What's your favorite song? The Greatest. From Raw Wave? Yeah. Why? Cause like he telling the story basically like basically how he grew up from nothing like I feel like I can like take a part of that like I grew up not not to say like I grew up hard in a struggle but I grew up where I couldn't get stuff I wanted half of the times but my mama made sure I got it so like I put this on towards her too cause she worked hard for like all the stuff I get so yeah. Awesome, thank you. Gotta try that cheese and the oil. Stay right there. Like, you kind of give him some advice and just, kind of like we're here. Give him some like, advice? Yeah, like when he's finna go out to the, like he's going out at night, he's like, Mom, I'm finna go chill with the fellas tonight. What do you tell him? You like, like talk well, to yeah. him. Yeah. <laughs> just be Go home ahead. by this time. Don't you don't give yourself any trouble. Like, talk to each other like we're here. Don't give him trouble. Who knows? Appreciate the fact you don't keep me on lockdown, dude, because of this corona stuff. Yeah, but you still gotta be safe. I'm, I just, I base, disinfect myself. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> well, <laughs> like, I'm base, I'm, I'm clean. Like, I ain't trying to get nobody in the house shit. Right. Yeah, we spray a lot of lights off. Yeah, she making sure everything stay disinfected on all the floors. Go crazy with that lights on in the morning, dude. All you smell is lights on when you walk out the room. Do you come to all the games? Yes, I do. Um, How many times I have? Four. Yeah, four. So is it very athletic? Very like a lot of movement in the home? Everybody plays something. My oldest son played volleyball, football. He played um, a little bit of everything. He's a skateboarder. Yeah, he's a skateboarder. He's real awesome on the skateboard. Um, my son, after him, he played basketball. My baby boy played basketball and football. And they in competition with him, so they always got to be better than him. <laughs> That's their competition. So. How old are they? Uh, my youngest boy is 14. Um, the one next to him is 16, 16 and my oldest son is 29. And, and tell me a little bit. He talked about you being his like his inspiration for what he does. Like, like what do you have to say to that? Um, yeah. When you're a parent, you always got to be the first one to inspire your kids to do the best that they can do. So. All of them, you know. They, I know they always say I'm a strong black woman, but I'm trying to raise strong black men. So I just do the best that I can with them and give them a lot of um, advice through my life experiences. Yeah. Tell me about that conversation you had with him. He says, I'm ready to give up mine. This is a hard hit. I well, man, so, well, I know I ain't doing nothing like that. Uh, Members, man, y'all thanks for following me, man. Y'all behind the scenes with DX, big man Leonard Taylor over here. Thank you for being a member, man. Football video. Appreciate y'all, bro. Cold, man. I know you really came in with your hot shirt on, man. <laughs> <laughs> you saw it was raining, you ain't got no sweatpants. Either. Yeah, man, like we're going to the gym or something. <laughs> yeah, early, bro. Huh? Man, it's early. You about ready? Was it 
Talk about this, man. How many points they put on us other night, man? Forty. Forty-one. <laughs> Forty-one. We're gonna talk about this high-scoring game from the other night. Uh, man, X, big man, Linda Taylor back there. Man, say what's up to the people, man. What's good? Some members, man. <laughs> you see, the, the Caneville shirt. Man. Y'all need to get y'all. He got his. We about to get up out of here, man. Um, dropping this week. Caneville, Lena Taylor, football bill, man. We out here.